well, an artifact of Mars. But now you may have heard that the maggot who killed Kate Steinle in San Francisco has walked. He was uh, convicted only on possession of a firearm uh, charge. A felon in possession of a char- firearm. Jurors Thursday afternoon acquitted the illegal alien accused of killing Kate Steinle as she walked into the father and a crowded San Francisco pier of all charges except for the felony possession of a firearm. A spokesperson for the Superior Court of California made the announcement after the jury had reached the verdict shortly after 3 p.m. Shortly after 4 p.m., the shocking verdict was announced that Jose Ines Garcia Serrani was found not guilty of all charges except for the gun possession charge. I mean, this shocks even CBS. Whatever. Jurors have been delivering the case since Tuesday, November 21st, after prosecutors and defense attorneys finished their arguments whether Garcia Serrani was a hapless homeless victim, man who killed silently in a freak accident, or a calculated murderer intent on playing a sick game. The jurors broke from the long Thanksgiving holiday on Wednesday, November 22nd. Deliberations have been ongoing since the jury reconvened this past Monday. The jury of six women and six men Considered charges against Garcia that include murder, assault with a deadly weapon, being a felon in possession of a firearm after the death of Steinle, a 32-year-old Pleasanton native in San Francisco resident. <laughs> Defense attorney Matt Gonzalez spoke after the verdict. It was rather taken a moment to offer condolences to the Steinle family. That's BS. I hope they do. I hope that they do not interpret this verdict as diminishing in any way the awful tragedy that occurred. Saint Gonzalez. No, but you do. Uh, you're perfectly happy with it. Gonzalez was also quick to ask if the jury's discussion, decision be held in proper regard. This jury's verdict should be respected, Gonzalez said. Sorry, it's not going to happen, dirtbag. They heard the evidence, they deliberated as a group, they heard, read back testimony, they looked at the physical evidence, and they rendered a verdict to the best of their abilities in accordance with the law. No, they let their uh, mental disorder of liberalism ideology makes this verdict. The attorney who also an- anticipated the likely criticism that could be forthcoming from some high profile politicians who had also commented, already commented on the case. For those who might criticize this verdict, there are a number of people who commented on this case in the last couple of years. Attorney General of the United States, President and Vice President of the United States, said Gonzalez. Let me remind them they are themselves under investigation by a special prosecutor in Washington, D.C. Unbelievable! He's shifting the blame to Donald Trump! They may soon avail themselves of the presumption of innocence beyond a reasonable doubt. So I've been so I ask that they reflect on that before they comment or disparage the results of this case. Get bent, dirtbag! Okay, I've had enough. Uh, this maggot will get 40 hours of community service and a merit badge for completing the community service, I'm sure. So he basically, he's walked. Unbelievable. I can't believe this is happening. 
Uh, no, neither can most people, even CBS, is saying, hey, this is stupid. Unbelievable. Uh, I just want to ask one question before I go. Can you buy rope in San Francisco? Uh, can you find oak trees in San Francisco? I don't know the answer to those two questions, but you sure as hell can't get justice for deranged murders in San Francisco. I'm Artifacts of Mars. I'm disgusted. I'm furious. Thanks for watching. And now, folks, my story is ended. I think it is time I should quit. If any of you feel offended, stick your head in a barrel of shaving cream. Be nice and clean. Shave every day and you'll always look keen.